the two pictures. So these two pictures it's talking about, it's going to describe is very detailed. And I think it's a great way of understanding what's happening inside these two different relationships. The course distinguishes between holy relationships and special relationships. Most of the relationships on the planet are special relationships. And the basic concept is that because we have judged ourselves as bad and wrong in some way, we can't be with that. So we project it out onto everyone and everything else. It's a constant state of judging. The ego hand selects a few people that are special and we project something else onto them. So the original picture of negative that we're projecting is on them. But we then project another image on top of that of something special. And we seek those special relationships to save us in some way. That we're trying to get something from them to make us okay. That's a special relationship. And all special relationships will fail, the Course says. They can't succeed in what we're trying to make them do. They're not real. They're not based in truth. And so, but it also says that because God knows that we love what we make, special relationships are made. They're not created because they're not eternal. What's created is eternal. But we make these special relationships and God would never want to take them away from us or try to take them from, from us. But he wants our happiness. That's the real goal God has set for all relationships is to be happy or to make happy. And because special relationships will never make us happy, they will truly make us miserable. God has given us a way through the Holy Spirit to transform those special relationships. You get to keep the relationship, but they get to become what God intended them to be, which is holy relationships. A holy relationship is not, uh, so special relationships sort of collapse in on themselves because they're directed inward, you know, two people, making each other special. Everybody else is separated out. You think about most of the relationships, you know, Adam Levine and his wife and whoever else it is. Those are, those are special relationships and you can't separate out. That's the problem. And so then you get weird, funny stuff like people texting other people and, you know, cheating and, you know, and that's only one kind of special relationship. There's so many different kinds of special relationships, even your friends, your family, whoever we make special, those people, those relationships will fail. And then you will eventually, the course says, cut that person out and go and look for the next special one, because you're going to blame the person instead of blaming the projection that you created. And so the holy relationship is when you say, you know what, dear God, please make of this relationship a holy relationship. In the moment you say that, the Holy Spirit enters immediately and begins to transform that relationship into something that will genuinely make happy, make you happy, make them happy. And it's not exclusive. It doesn't exclude everyone else. You know when you're around a holy relationship because you feel very included and the love that's happening in that relationship is extending out and including everyone. It touches everyone and lifts everyone up in love. Whereas a special relationship is, is designed to do the exact opposite. The problem is love cannot be contained. It's not love if it's contained, if it's held selfishly between two or whatever. It's, that's not love happening. Love has to expand and extend out. And when you're around that, the special relationships, that's going to impact everyone around them in some sort of negative way. And so holy relationships are giving relationships. The people in a relationship are giving genuinely to each other without trying to get something. It's a natural giving. And that giving will expand outside that package out into the world. That's how it works. You know, when you've been around that, and we've all been around it here and there. So God established his relationship with you to make you happy. And nothing you do that does not share his purpose can be real. The purpose God ascribed to anything is its only function. And if anything is going on, it's not based in any reality. Anything else is going on, it's not based in any reality. If what's happening isn't happiness, it's not making you happy or someone else happy, it's definitely an illusion. And it's an illusion by design. It intends to make unhappy. It's not making happy. It's the ego. The ego wants unhappy, does not want happy, no matter what it tells you. The purpose God ascribed to anything is its only function. Because of his reason for creating his relationship with you, the function of relationships in general became forever to make happy. 
and nothing else.